When it comes to my Craftsman T210 riding mower, I often get asked how I keep it looking so new. Recently, I had a nearby neighbor stop and ask me if I bought a new mower every month. Nope, I'm just diligent about cleaning and also try to take care when I mow. I can tell you on the bottom side of the deck where each and every scuff happened in the yard. Still the question, how do I keep it so clean? Well, it's quite simple. Compressed air. I have a 20 gallon 200 psi Husky upright compressor and 50 feet of the closest to Craftsman Red air hose I could find on Amazon. With those two tools, after each and every use, I give it a good air cleaning, paying special attention to the critical areas. Well, honestly, just about every nook and cranny gets some air. That's my main key to keeping it clean. There are a couple of other steps. I'll reveal those in a second. The main thing, though, to get the dust off after each and every mow so that it doesn't build up, and I found compressed air to be the least invasive way. Some people hose down their mower with a water hose after each use, and that works too, but I don't feel it gets all the dirt as well as compressed air can. Not to mention that over time, that can cause rusting, especially on those non-galvanized bolts and screws that most mowers have. Even worse, all those greased areas. I've seen people use high-pressure water to blow out those areas, and that can also displace lubrication. There's also the electrical connections to consider. That's another big component for keeping things working. Water, some areas are worse than others, but many, like my area, have hard water. There are a lot of minerals that build up over time. That adds resistance to electrical connections. The aluminum, I'm probably not in the best spot here with my cleaning to show you, but the block on this mower, it looks practically brand new, the engine block. I know people that hose off their mower, and after a year or two, the aluminum on their engines is oxidized. The transmission casing, too. There's also galvanic corrosion, the mating of dissimilar metals. It's all over mowers and just about everything else. It's a thing, and water seems to speed the process, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that you're doing it wrong or doing wrong to your mower if your water hose cleaning. In my opinion, it's better than not cleaning at all as far as longevity. Just saying to keep it looking as new as possible, or as long as possible, I found the compressed air method to be the best. So that's how I do it. Air down the entire mower, everything. Top, bottom, sides, insides, underneath, all of it usually only takes a few minutes. I filmed all this in one go and I'm practically done about four, four to five minutes. Then I ride forward a few feet where I actually use water and that's water at the water deck port wash. That gives a good pressure washing to underneath the deck and to the blades. Now ironically some people, the ones that usually hose down their mower, don't seem to like this particular thing but it's been proven to work. Now, I recently swapped to gator blades, and I've noticed that I need to add an extra minute or two to get a proper deck clean, at least the same kind that I do with sander blades. A trade-off well worth making, in my opinion. I'll take a couple extra minutes using the deck wash if it's less time cleaning the mower overall. It's the dust bowl issue on these 42-inch mowers. I have videos about that, and I have videos about my resolution. That's the gator blades. So the couple of extra minutes with the wash port time, not a big deal to me. What you saw me air blowing this, that was straight out of cutting. If you have one of these mowers, you know that's a lot less dust than you would have with standard blades. Those are my two cleaning steps after each and every mow. There is one last thing I do about every third cut. I wipe down the mower with Chemical Guys V7 Hybrid Cleaner. I'm not advertising for it, it's just a good cleaner. I wipe down the metal and all the plastic surfaces. Gives good UV protection. I even clean the engine shroud with it. That's it. That's how I keep my T210 looking as new as possible. Stay tuned for my three-year update that's coming up very soon. Lots of good info there and a 100-hour service. I'm hoping the two coincide, so we'll see if it's two videos or one. Thanks for watching.